A Chinese researcher claims to have helped make the world's first gene-edited babies, twin girls whose DNA he says he altered, with a powerful new tool that lets scientists edit the genetic code. I feel a strong responsibility uh, that it's not just to make it first, but also make it uh, as example. Scientist He Jinghui says he edited the baby's genes to try to give them a trait few people naturally have, to help them resist HIV infection. His work has not yet been independently confirmed or reviewed by other scientists, but if proven, it crosses a new frontier in medicine and ethics. But if it's not safe or have any problem, it may rule the entire field and the people may lose the trust in the new technology. He says he edited embryos for seven couples during IVF fertility treatment. So far, there's been one pregnancy. The gene editing was done using a tool called CRISPR-Cas9. It works by making a cut in the DNA to disable a specific gene. Dr. Kira Musunuru, an expert with no role in the experiment, considers it unethical. We still have a lot of work to do to prove and establish that the procedure is actually safe. I would say that no babies should be born um, at this point in time following the use of this technology. It's simply too early, too premature. He and many mainstream scientists say this type of gene editing should not be attempted yet because it could make permanent changes to DNA that could affect future generations or cause harm if other genes are affected. Some worry it will be used to design babies with desired traits. We have to balance the potential benefits with the potential risks for the people involved. In cases where the potential risks are substantially higher than the benefits, which I think is the case here, that is not ethical. Gene editing has only recently been tried in adults to treat serious diseases, and those changes are just in that person. It's not allowed to be used in the U.S. and many other countries on embryos intended for pregnancy. But Hu says it's only a matter of time. The world has moved on to the stage for embryo gene editing. There will be someone somewhere who is doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. Hu says he supports the development of international guidelines on how to use this gene editing technology, saying in the end, society will decide how to move forward.